morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Daffy D's here and today I want to share with you, I, I don't know why I blanked out. Today I want to share with you my hidden bar experience in London. London is a very special place. There's like good food, good pubs, good atmosphere, everyone with a British accent and you feel that they are very exotic, yada yada yada. There's actually a great like hidden bar culture in London and they started way back before I was born. The whole history of hidden bar, I don't do history but as far as I know is because sometime in history drinking alcohol is actually illegal. Can you believe it? I mean, how can, how can it be illegal? But that's where hidden bar comes from. Usually they would have like barber shops or restaurants or you know some some kind of thing as a disguise on the top and then they have like a hidden door. If you, if you say the passcode then they would lead you through the secret door downstairs to the basement where they would serve you alcohol. When I went to London we I really didn't plan much. I was just going with the flow. I met with a, a friend of mine who was just telling me about random things about like London and he was like what do you want to do? I was like I want to do something where tourists would not do. That was like my one requirement for him. And he was like, well, I don't know, you could go to the Brick Lane, Scordish, I guess, and I guess you can go to like a hidden bar. And I was like, whoa, 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 hold up. Did you just say hidden bar? And I was really excited because I've never been to a hidden bar ever. Hey guys, so we're live in London right now. We're on Trafalgar Square. We're gonna interview this stuff a bit. Talk to the people. Alright, so we're live streaming here in London Trafalgar Square, right next to the National Gallery right here. We're at Charing Cross Station right here. With these travelers here. This guy is definitely not a traveler. This guy lives in the UK for his whole life, I think. These guys are totally fobs right here. No video. Take spin. is a video because they won't flash for sure. <laughs> That's such a cool thing. It's a Matt RETT here today. Of a Russian car here. Hey guys, so we just found Shake Shack. And this is all the stores. So this is uh, episode number 29 of our Europe trip. Vlog. Vlog trip. Right now we are staying at Covent Garden. Just look at this. Stephanie enjoying the music. Whereas Chris don't know what to do with it. That's great. Today is a really gloomy day. It's not necessarily the best day out here, but but the music, the music makes it much better. But now we're sleeping in the air All this stuff that we don't need All this illusion in our head Is gonna bring us to our knees So come on, let it go Just let it be Why don't you be all I Everything that's gone Maybe to the breeze Why don't you be and I'm in the end. We just have to finish the music show. And then we go. Why? Only know you love me, you let it go. Only know you've been how you feel alone. Only at all when you miss it all. Only know you love me, you let it go. Is there a guy store downstairs? 
Oh, there is. Hello. Hello. Is that how you do vlogging? Yes. Hey guys, vlog. Vlog. It's vlog, not vlog. I like to say vlog. It's vlog. So we're on this tiny street, north of uh, Open Garden. It's uh, around seven o'clock. But we're down with some hot. So I, I like what? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're a terrible vlogger. They're gonna do back checks and they probably don't, don't have photography inside. Uh, my friend Justin joined me a day later, so he wasn't there when we had me and my friend from London had this conversation about Hidden Bar. So he had no idea what we were doing. We had dinner and we bought tickets for like an EDM rave. So it's like a university rave, like end of school kind of thing. It was kind of cool, so because we're probably the only tourists there. Anyway, so we need to find a place to pre-drink. Justin's like, hey, where should we go? Like, hey, let's go to a bar, let's go to a pub. And I was like, no, I have a perfect place in mind. I remember we were finding this place called The Breakfast Club, which is actually a 90 diner. Since it's called the Breakfast Club, they serve like breakfast food like omelette and egg benedict and stuff like that. So I just remember I took him there. There was this great yellow door with like a stamp kind of thing called saying like the Breakfast Club. So like we walked in and um, on the right hand side, there was like a photo collage of everyone. They just take instant photos of you or something and you can just stick it on the wall. And on the left side, there was like the love lock kind of thing so you can buy a lock and maybe write your name and lock here on those fence like thing went up to the counter and i was like hey i'm here to see the mayor the funny thing is the the host who was there they like the moment we walked in because it's like 9 or 10 p.m the moment we walked in he was like looking at us like mm -hmm, like what you're here for kind of thing and he was like mm -hmm, you're you're here for for like food or something and we're like no we're here to see the mayor and he's like of course you are he actually played along and he was like i'm sorry but the mayor's a little occupied at the moment so we'll have to sit you down um at a table here and when he when he's free we'll lead you like, we will take you to him. If I am Justin, I'll be like hella pissed. Because he looked at the menu, not a single alcoholic beverage. Hey, so we're at Breakfast Club to see the mayor. Justin has no idea what that means. It's gonna be awesome. Nothing just like so fucking confused. So I told Justin that uh, we're going here for like drinks and pre party before the raid. And he's utterly disappointed. I'm not here to have omelets. <laughs> I'm not here to have next benedict. Yet, I'm here to actually see the mayor. <laughs> I mean, I'm here for alcohol, not for omelets. The hidden door of that place was disguised as a 90 fridge. So it was like what one of those like ginormous, like white thing, very fat looking fridge that they had in the 90s. Cause we're still together. We're at a hidden bar.
Not sure how long this was. Taking the night bus N63 back home. If you've been to a hidden bar, I would like to know about it. So please comment below. Tell me all about these hidden gems. Please subscribe, like, comment, and check out my travel vlog. And I will see you next week.